statistics is analyzing uh, making sense of and using information to make informed judgment and decisions in other words statistics can help hr professionals to become more evidence-based as opposed to gut feeling or intuition alone welcome to hr insight on today's episode i'm going to be taking a deep dive into statistics in human resources and we're going to be using one of the best kept secret in excel that is the excel analysis tool pack now when it comes to statistics in human resources this is one of the foundational tool for hr analytics and we're going to be considering some of the common uh, statistical measures that will be useful for analyzing hr data measures of central tendencies a measure of central tendency is a summary statistics that help to represent the center point within a data set now when you have a data set that has been presented and you want to describe that data set a measure of central tendency can help you to describe that data by giving you a summary of that data telling you about the center point within that data talking about this measure of central tendency there are three most common measures of central tendency and they are your mean your median and your mode very very uh uh, common statistics so your mean is your arithmetic mean which means you would divide the entire data set by the number of data sets you get your mean your median is the middle number within that data set why your mode is the most occurring data within the entire data set so applying this to human resources i can pick employee age if i need to describe the workforce data using employee age I can as well find the average age of the employees which will give me an understanding of the age distribution within the organization i can as well apply the most occurring age or the median age as it were now what this helps me to understand is to be able to describe that data we call it descriptive statistics that is your measure of central tendency aside your measure of central tendency we also have measures of dispersion measures of dispersion are descriptive statistics that describe how similar a set of data are to each other in trying to understand what measure of dispersion is is critical to look at critical examples of measures of dispersion the important measures of dispersion are your range your standard deviation and your variation range as a statistical uh, as a descriptive statistics help you to understand the spread of the data set by finding the difference between the minimum data within the data set and the maximum data within that data set standard deviation help you to understand how far apart is the data set the individual data set from the mean of that data set then your variance has to do with the square of your standard deviation now when you've been able to find your range your standard deviation and your variance you can be able to describe your data better and when you apply it to workforce data in a similar vein this become easy to be able to describe in order for you to be able to uh, illustrate your mean median mode uh, your range, your standard deviation, and your variance at a single click within Excel. Uh, Excel best kept secret to be able to do this is the Excel analysis tool pack. The Excel analysis tool pack is an Excel add-in uh, program that provides data analysis tools for financial, statistical, and engineering data analysis. By default, the excel analysis tool pack is not activated within excel in order for you to be able to activate uh, the excel analysis tool pack adding you need to follow the steps in order for you to activate the excel analysis tool pack uh, the excel analysis tool pack is an excel adding once activated and you go to your data tab within excel uh, it will be somewhere here as you can see it is not yet activated to be able to activate it go to file depending on whichever version of excel you're using i'll uh, click on file 
then come down to options then from options uh navigate to add add-ins within excel then you would see here inactive application add-in what we want to activate is the analysis tool pack you click on the analysis tool pack then you go to go click on go then this pop-up window comes up now you would see from the pop-up window that everything is on check what i want to activate at this point is the analysis tool pack so i click on the analysis tool pack and i click on ok immediately i click on ok my the look of my data tab my data ribbon has changed now you can see the analysis tool pack now activated here yeah. so you can see that my data analysis tool pack is now activated once i click on my data analysis tool pack now uh, it opens up uh, the excel analysis tool pack for me and there are a lot of statistical analysis that we can do from here the other things that you can that can be done here is you can do a correlation uh, histogram descriptive statistics and regression analysis and so many statistical analysis for the sake of this uh video we will concentrate on the descriptive statistics feature within the excel analysis tool pack the data set we're going to be working with the link to download the data set the practice file i'm working with right now is found in the video description you can click in the video description to download the practice file now we're going to be using the excel analysis tool pack to uh, analyze this particular data set so here we have uh the age of, of employees already calculated uh we have the length of service as well and all other illustration uh, i'm going to be using the descriptive statistics uh feature within the excel analytics tool pack to analyze the age of the employees here so all i need to do is to copy that age of employees uh, in order to copy uh, fast i could use my mouse or i can use the excel short form uh, click on age then put down my shifts and my control button with my arrow that picks my entire age then control c uh, i'll take it to an empty sheet and this time around i will paste values now the reason why i'm pasting values for this is there are calculations within uh the file that i ca there are calculations here if you see here you see that there is a calculation if i don't use the paste value functionality and i just use paste all the values will default to zero because there's a calculation from where i'm bringing it from in order for the data to be stripped of its formula that's why i had to do my paste value functionality in order to use my descriptive statistics feature within the excel analytics tool pack to analyze this employee age distribution that i have here i will go to i'll go to my data ribbon uh, then navigate to the data analysis that i've already activated i click on data analysis then the pop-up window comes up I want to use descriptive statistics for this particular illustration then i i'll make sure descriptive statistics is enabled then i click ok then you now have this pop-up window that you need you now have this pop-up window that you need to uh, impute values into so my input range my input range in this scenario is the age so i would click on age then shift control uh, and my drop down arrow it copies everything then the data is grouped by columns then i need to uh, check labels in first row because i have the age in the first row of the data then the output range i want it to be on the same excel file but if i wanted it to be on a new worksheet i will activate that then i would click on summary statistics that is what i want to illustrate uh, you could leave the confidence interval at this point because i'm not getting into deep statistics i'll leave that blank then for the output range i'll click on output range 
then it i will click within that uh window just to define where i want my summary statistics to be illustrated then i navigate to where i want it to be i want it to come i want it to come here so i click on that uh cell and all i need to do now is to click ok immediately i click ok excel goes to do its magic excel goes to do its magic and present some set of very interesting data to me so let's dive into uh what this data mean now you have age uh because i've defined the uh the header now here you have the mean of the data set that is equivalent to your average age so out of this age of employees the average age is 39.72 if i round that down that's about 39 what's the median the median age of employee is 40 in this scenario uh the median age is 40 which is the middle number the mode in terms of the most occurring age within this employee is 31. now looking at these three values you can begin to see some interesting statistics here to be able to understand your workforce better so you have a mean of 39 which is the average age you have a employee median age of 40 and a mode which is the most occurring age of the employee at 31 very interesting statistics then the standard deviation how far away are the other entire data from the median is 8.6 uh, the sample variance is square of your uh, variance is always the square of your standard deviation then another interesting one is the count so you see the count so the numbers of data set that we work with uh, is 115 uh, it comes out to give you 115 data it sums up the entire data that's not useful it gives you the range of the data Remember, the range is the difference between your minimum data and your maximum. So, the minimum age of employees here is 23. Very interesting, right? And the maximum age of employee is 59. So, that is already describing. If you were to go through 115 data set, that would be a lot to go through. But with this feature, the Excel Analytics Tool Pack, it is already summarizing this for you then the range which is the difference between the maximum and the minimum is given as 36 and uh, these other features are not useful at this time so what you notice is that your descriptive statistics feature within your excel analytics tool pack help you to be able to describe your data if i was to describe uh if i was to look at 115 data set uh, that would have been very difficult to do but with the magic tool of the excel analytics tool pack one of the best kept secrets i'm able to do my descriptive statistics in a single click i'm sure you enjoyed the best kept secrets within excel happy practicing i'll see you in the next episode